We are on. Hi everybody. My day. Did I have a good day? I did. I'm a little tired. Um, it was busy. Um, hold on. It was busy because um, Carlene, uh, Grace, Devin, and Megan took the four snails plus Bentley. Let me see if I can get this right now. I think Seeger and Asher to EPSCO, which is a company in Ipswich. I don't know exactly what they do. It's kind of a techie type of operation, I believe. Um, but they often bring us um, snacks when they have meetings. They have food left over. Uh, the woman who comes couldn't be nicer. Um, and she loves SDP and she's always trying to find ways to support it. They had some sort of company picnic or something today. Um, she invited lots of people and she invited Carlene and crew to come from the pubs, talk about SDP. I'm sure Carlene or Megan or whomever does mail call um, and try to talk later can tell you more about their day. Um, but based on comments from them when they returned, it sounds like it was an overall great, great day. So happy for them. That of course meant that um, Pam and I were left back here in the house, which is okay. Uh, the pups weren't here, so it made it easy to clean their area, certainly. Um, <clears throat> it made it difficult to keep up on the laundry because um, I didn't want to leave Opal and her pups unattended while I was down in the basement trying to keep up with the laundry. So I've just been down there now, and it's almost caught up. There's not too much uh, left to do. So it was, it was a good day. I don't know why I'm so tired, but I am. Um, how's Chandler doing? I'm not, well, Chandler, Chandler, everyone agrees, is a love. He is as cute as he can be. Um, he definitely needs some manners and he needs to learn his name. I'm not sure he knows his name is Chandler. So I think Maggie was going to try and work with him today and do some recall. Um, I think with him and Ruby, perhaps. Um, I haven't had a chance to check in with her, but hopefully he's coming along. Yes, I heard the snails did great. I heard they were just wonderful. So be very proud of our snails. The authors are getting big. I don't know how much they weigh right now, but um, they are getting big. You may have noticed some of them are actually up on all fours, you know, rambling about. And um, yesterday, Stowe's eyes were open. Um, it looks like a few of the others are almost open, so they are getting big. I bet in another week or so, they'll all be up and about and uh, with eyes open. What else can I tell you? Um, Weather-wise, it's a nice day today. It's comfortable. It's not oppressively humid. Um, it's warm, um, dry, so nice. The mornings have been really cool. And you know, I like the cool weather. It lets me know that summer is winding down and fall is right around the corner, which would be fine, except winter's right around the corner from that. Yeah. So... How is Mariah? Mariah's good. She actually is out in one of the kennels right now. I forget which one. I think she's over in Deagle. Yes, she is in Deagle. Um, she's been good. She, I mean, health-wise, she seems fine. Um, as you know, she doesn't always get along with the other dogs, and she's been doing really, really well, except she and Tumblr had a little minor incident this morning um, over food. So I think Tumblr, who was a slow eater anyway, walked away from her breakfast, and Mariah... 
wandered by, but perhaps she'd finish it, and that didn't go over too well. So other than that, um, she's fine, and um, I suspect she'll be back in the house tonight, but again, I don't know that for, for a fact. So, it smells like food. Yes, it smells like food. Who's in Deagle and Nut? So who's in Deagle and Nut? Let's see if I can tell you who's in Deagle and Nut. Well, right now, Violet and Hugo are in Deagle, but they'll be leaving with me. Also in Deagle, we have a new crew this week. I know my friend Gretchen is in there. Um, Mariah is currently in there. Um, Lint is in there. Finn is in there. Pixie is in there. I actually did not go to Nut this morning. Um, Laura fed in Nut. I do know that um, Orville and Zeppelin are in there. Jet and Sid have been in there. And I'm sorry, I don't know who the other two are, but full house at any rate, full house. But it changes. It seems like we have them for a week, a week or two, and then um, sometimes, over, usually over the weekend, the dogs get moved about. And when I came in on Monday morning, it's like, surprise, we have new residents. So it's good, though. Get to see everybody. Um, what else can I tell you? I have a turkey meatloaf in the oven right now for Carlene. That's what she's smelling in the kitchen. It was an easy thing to do. While everybody was out, I can put it in the oven and they can just eat it whenever they're ready. Hopefully it'll be okay. Who got in trouble? Oh, Mariah and Tumblr got into a little scuffle this morning. Nothing major, um, but that's what happened. <laughs> no, not Spinner and Oh, I don't know. Spinner and Wrinkle, yes, Dee, you're right. They are in Nut House. They're on the end. I saw them out standing on the end. Absolutely, Spinner and Wrinkle. Thank you. Brown rice and quinoa and some green peas. Nothing, nothing fancy. Why do they get moved around? That's a good question. <laughs> I often wonder that. Um, I think maybe so they don't get bored, you know, um, they need to be able to function in different environments. So when they're up in Deagle and Nut, they are able to go out in the grass and the dirt and run around, you know, through the doggy doors at will and to pee and to poop. When they're down in the barn, they have access to their cement um, kennel run, but they don't have access to go out um, onto the fields unless somebody opens their kennel and lets them out. So it's just, just variety, no other, no other special reason, except for the fact if we have barkers who, as you know, the barn is closest to the abutting neighbors who aren't too happy with us right now. So we've tr been trying to keep the barkers up here in Deagle farther away from the neighbors and closer to the house so that at night somebody can run out and reprimand them if necessary. Yes, Mariah's back to normal. We know she's feeling better. Um, let's see. What else can I share with you? I don't think anything else is going on. Um, are there any other questions before I say goodbye? Okay, then. Then I guess I'm going to say good afternoon, enjoy your evenings, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.